Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com. Want to know how to add segment and control, picker, stepper, and text field in your app? Then make sure you keep on watching. Let's build out this app right here. Hit that subscribe button, open up Xcode, and let's dive in. In the previous video, we have implemented our show sliders toggle, and of course the sliders, and our form. Okay, now in today's video, we are just going to move forward and we are going to add a bunch of stuff like this uh, segmented picker view, the text field, this uh, uh, stepper and our picker view. Okay, so before we do that, let me just go ahead and uh, show you how our toggle view has this toggle right here. And if you recall correctly, let me just show you what we have here. Uh, we have it here. And that is a pretty easy fix. Let me just add in here fixed size. Okay. And uh, that will basically uh, push the toggle to the uh, text and uh, maybe just remove those. Okay. So let's go back to our content view and let's start off with our text field because yeah, most probably that is the easiest. So text field and uh, we are going to use the one with the title and the text. Okay. The title should be title goes here and the, we already have a text binding. Let me just scroll all the way up. Here we have our title text. Okay and dollar sign title text and that couldn't be easier again the thumbnail view is already connected with all of these states and the bindings okay hello and there awesome okay let's move forward and uh, now let's create our stepper and the stepper will be uh, down here and again uh, this is pretty straightforward so stepper and uh, we are going to use the one with value in the range and with a label. Okay, so the value will be our alike count. So dollar sign, oh, sorry, dollar sign like count. The closed range, let's say from zero till 100 and the label will be a text saying, let's see if likes we are going to add in here our likes and the value of those likes and that is of course our likes count there we go we have here our like count okay let's build and run and see the stepper also in action okay here we have our likes it's incrementing and as you can see it's incrementing also on the card there we go Okay, awesome. And as you can see now, we cannot go further down the, uh, the element zero. Okay, next up is the segmented control or the picker. And basically the segmented control is a, a picker. Uh, so let's start off by creating the general picker. And we are just going to add this into a section. So section just so you know that we can have multiple multiple sections so let's create our picker here and we are just going to choose this first one with a selection label and content now the selection is uh, what we are just going to select and up here for the images and current image name uh, this is corresponding for what we need for this picker, we are just going to choose current image name. So that will be our binding dollar sign current image name. For the label, let's add in here a text. There we go. Let's say, what should this say? Select image. There we go. And for the content, now this is the tricky part because we want to have a uh, a list of all of our images and we have our image names here and I already uh, populated our assets with these images. Okay, now for that we are just going to go with a for each loop. I believe I will need a parenthesis here but if not I will just remove that later on. 
So for each, and we are going to use this first one or the second one with the ID because yeah, we need to have the ID. And uh, for the data, we are just going to have our image names. The ID is uh, the slash dot self and the content, let's just remove uh, this, will be an image name. So we are just going to get back our image name. And here we are going to uh, construct uh, a view. And let me just take a look at here, an H stack with an image and a text. So uh, real quickly, let's create our H stack here with an image. Okay, there we go. And uh, image name, image name, there we go. And uh, let's add some modifiers here. It will be resizable and uh, aspect ratio, aspect ratio dot fit. I'm really just fast copying here. And the frame should be 40 by 40 and no alignment. There we go. And uh, let's just add in here a text too with the image name. And finally, let's add a spacer. So all of this will be pushed to the left. Okay, and uh, let's just uh, add these here. And that should be it. Let's hit Command B and see how that looks like if it succeeds. If not, then uh, most probably we have some problem with this picker. There we go. Let's just refactor this and uh, let's remove these. And this parentheses will go, I believe, here. Let's see. All of this should work out okay. We just need to add in here content. There we go. That should fix our problems. Auto completion is quite not reliable just yet. Let's hit Command B and hopefully everything succeeded. Yes, it did. So let's build and run and see how this looks like. As you can see here, we have our label, our uh, title label, our image, and the name of that image. And let's go in there. And let's select another one. And of course, because all of this is tied up with the thumbnail view, we have already our uh, image there. Okay, uh, one last thing to note is that in order to this to work, we need to be in a navigation view. Okay, so make sure if you're using a picker, uh, you are in a navigation view. Okay, one last thing uh, that I'm going to do with this picker is to uh, refactor it in the, into the picker view. So let me just copy out all of this and go to our picker view and add that here. And right off the bat, you will see that we are going to need a current image name. So that will be a binding. And if you don't know what states or bindings are, go ahead and take a look at my other tutorial on states and binding. It's really useful to know how all of this works. And this current image name is of type string. Okay, that is the binding. But we also need image names. So that is a simple string of bindings. And this could be a let. I know I did it uh, a bar on the other view, but yeah, that could be it. And uh, that is an array of strings. And uh, I believe that should take care of everything. Let's add our missing arguments here as usual. And let's set in here a constant and the value of our empty string. And we will have another uh, missing parameter and that is image names. And uh, that will be an empty uh, array here. I believe this should work. Let's hit command B. If not, then we will add a simple, yeah, don't need to, to add anything else. Now let's go back to our content view and just use this uh, picker view. Picker 
view and now all we need to do is add our current image name which is of course dollar sign current image name and our image names which are of course our image names and how awesome is this refactoring okay one final thing let's go to our segmented control and that is basically uh, uh, another picker uh, uh, view and uh, while we are here let's go and create i believe the standard picker that is auto suggested here will work so for our selection we are just going to use this uh, state of corner radius there we go dollar sign corner radius for our label we are just going to use a simple text but it will have none so this empty string there we go and uh, now for the content we are just going to go through uh, every for each element see data id and the data is our corner radiuses on this simple array uh, the key is slash dot self and make sure all of these are unique of course and for our content we are just going to have a corner radius and let's just have a text here with our corner radius and to make this um, segmented picker we are just going to use our picker style let's see picker style and uh, this should autocomplete but i just use segmented picker uh, style there we go and that should that should work let's hit command b and hopefully we will not have any issues here oh because this corner radius is an integer we need to uh, create or it as a string so let's hit command b and now we should be able to see it okay let's hit command r to see this in action there we go and it's already working okay time to refactor this and this is really really simple let's just grab all of this code and copy it out go to our segmented picker view and instead of our text we are just going to add that in there and by now you already know the drill uh, let's create a binding with the current current corner location binding var current corner location radius and uh, that is an integer and um, uh, yeah we have our corner radiuses so that is a flat of current corner radiuses and that is an array of integers and that should take care of it all we have to do is add our missing arguments here which is pretty straightforward a constant value of zero and let's wait for the other one for the auto completion or rather yet the fix and that is an empty array okay uh, finally let's go back to our content view uh, hit command b so we get our uh, xcode to complete and let's see segmented picker view and we have our current corner radius which is of course our dollar sign current corner radius and our corner radiuses and that is our corner radius is okay and uh, yeah i believe we are ready let's just test this out if it's working as it should and uh, yeah that is awesome we have created all of our elements so that is it for this tutorial i hope this video was helpful to you i want you to hit that notification bell because in my next video i'm actually gonna talk about icloud in swift ui if you're interested, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video. While you wait for that video, make sure you also check out these two videos that I have over here. I talk a lot about iOS development, Swift UI, and how to code smarter. So make sure to check out these videos as well. And as always, I will see you in the next one.